Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today I'll share with you the latest news just released from Samsung where Galaxy AI is coming to the Galaxy Watch lineup. Now there will be a brand new lineup of Galaxy watches launched later this year, but if you have a already existing Galaxy watch, you'll be able to get these brand new features via the One UI 6 watch update. Now I will share with you this quick little nitty gritty summary of details. So if you don't wanna stay for the whole entire video, at least you'll get the gist of what will be happening and when. But if you'd like to get all of the details, I have everything right here. Every single thing listed out, detailed out, where I'll actually go over everything. So this way you know all of the features coming, how they all work, also which devices of the Galaxy watches and where, and also when you'll be able to sign up for the beta program. So if you'd like to have all of the details, stay tuned for the full video. But if you only need to have just a little summary, you'll be able to stay tuned for this section right here. So first, let's take a look at when this will be coming and to what watches, just because that's probably the most important. Then we'll go through this quick little summary and then everything detailed. So these new features will be available on the next Galaxy Watch lineup via One UI 6 Watch, available later this year. A limited number of Galaxy Watch users will have early access to One UI 6 Watch beta starting in June. So we're at the end of May already, so very, very soon we'll be able to start seeing this One UI 6 watch beta coming through, and that will come through the Samsung Members application. Now, if you've never used the Samsung Members application, it's just sitting right here. You can also download it as well. And this is where you can sign up for any beta if it's on a watch or phone or anything else. It's normally just up here on the very top as one of these banners. Normally it's the very last banner that was just added. So if you notice this number here might change here in the future, go through them all really quick to see if any of these are talking about the brand new watch beta for One UI 6. So that is pretty much when it's happening. My guess is that the brand new watch lineup is probably July or August or September, probably July or August is when we'll be able to at least learn about it. But when it comes down to the beta program, that will be coming out here in June. Now the One UI 6 watch beta program will be available for Galaxy Watch 4, the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, the Galaxy Watch 5, Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, Galaxy Watch 6 and the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. And this will be for the users in the United States and Korea via the Samsung Members app. So now let's go over into the summary of at least what is coming to the watch, and then we'll break everything down into its smaller details. So the Galaxy AI Health features on Galaxy Watch, which combines powerful on-device AI with the extensive Samsung Health app. Now this will include the energy score, wellness tips, new sleep indicators in sleep score, new aerobic threshold, anaerobic threshold heart rate zone metrics and personalized health rate zone. You also have workout routine and race. So for the energy score, allows a better understanding of a user's daily condition through a combined analysis of personal health metrics like sleep activity and heart rate. For the wellness tips, it helps users reach personal health goals through motivational tips, insights, and guidance for custom goals. New sleep indicators in sleep score. It offers a more detailed and a precise analysis of user's sleep quality with insight on movement during sleep, sleep latency, heart rate, and respiratory rate during sleep to help build better habits. The new aerobic threshold, anaerobic threshold, heart rate zone metrics, and personalized health rate zone supports efficient running and anal analyze performance. You also have a workout routine, so it combines exercises for a more personalized workout. And then race, which helps users stay motiva motivated and track current and past progress when running or cycling. So if you want to learn more of these specific details and exactly which watches the Android systems to have, this is gonna be everything that we'll share from here. If you only wanted the summary, you can move on from this video if you like. But here we go, we're gonna go in depth with every single thing that will be brand new. Again, some of this probably won't even be shared on stage, they might just do the high level overview. So with the energy score, you can receive a better understanding of your daily condition through a combined analysis of personal health metrics, including average sleep time, sleep time consistency, bed wake time consistency, sleep, uh, sleep timing, previous day activity, sleeping heart rate, and heart rate variability. Plus, wellness tips help you reach your personal health goals by offering insights, motivational tips, and guidance based on your specific goal. And also all of this, when it comes down to that One UI 6 watch, 
will just have a greater precision and accuracy just overall. Now, this is only intended for general wellness and fitness purposes only. It is available on Android phones with operating system of Android 10 and above and requires Samsung Health app version 6.27 or above. And you do have to log in with your Samsung Health account for everything to kind of work and sync together. To check the energy score, the health data tracked from Galaxy Watch, which is the Galaxy Watch 4 or later, must be synchronized with the Samsung Health app wearing the Galaxy Watch a minimum of one day to seven days is required for activity data and sleep and heart rate data during sleep. Now, Samsung is enhancing its sleep AI algorithm to provide additional in-depth sleep insights. Newly added sleep indicators for sleep insights offer a more detailed analysis of your sleep quality so you can better understand your sleep patterns and build better habits. These added metrics include movement during sleep, sleep latency, heart rate, and respiratory rate during sleep, in addition to previously supported metrics like snoring hours, uh, blood oxygen level, and sleep cycle. Now, in addition to the five running intensity levels on the personalized health rate zone, new detailed aerobic threshold, anaerobic threshold, uh, heart rate zone metrics support efficient running while also quickly analyzing performance. Plus, cyclists can easily calculate functional threshold power metrics in just 10 minutes and train like a pro by using a personalized power index based on AI data analysis to maximize performance. Fitness tracking tools also help you track workouts and progress with greater convenience with the new workout routine. Combine various exercises for a personalized workout and seamlessly transition to the next exercise without stopping. Stay motivated and track your progress when running or cycling using race, which compares current and and past performance on the same routes. So again, some of the details of race, it's available for outdoor running and outdoor cycling only. For comparative measurements, it is required to run on the same path as the pre-generated path. Users can compare by selecting one of the records from a timeline of up to 14 days ago. Comparing records through the race is only available when starting the same location as the previous record's start point. It will be converted to the running mode automatically. And then this is the very last details down over here. One UI 6 watch beta program will be available to Galaxy Watch 4, 4 Classic, the Watch 5, the Watch 5 Pro, the 6, and the Watch 6 Classic. Again, only for users in the United States and Korea versus the Samsung Members app. So that was everything that I wanted to share with you guys. I wanted to not only just give you this little quick summary, this little high level overview, but also wanted to give you those more in-depth details because a lot of people might ask questions in the comment section below asking about this, this, or that. And this should hopefully be able to answer everything. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.